spicy waffle. I'm Corwin. And I'm Uko. And this is more Would You Rather. And the first question we have is really where one way or another it would not be that bad. So it's just spending a day somewhere. Now it's Would You Rather Spend a Day in the Sahara Desert or Spend a Day at the North Pole? I'm going to choose the North Pole because here's why, right? Tons of people can say that they masturbated in the Sahara Desert, okay? Oh, yeah. But very few people can say that they have left their genetic material for all time to be frozen on the North Pole and maybe, like, get intermingled with Santa's sperm and then yeah, the see, Santa elves see, become, you, like, you went, halfway yeah, like me. See, you you eventually got there, but yes. I thought you were going <laughs> to get there quicker. I thought you were going to say left your genetic material in an elf. <laughs> yes. But the thing is, right... It's, it's only okay, though, if the elves are the kind of elves where they actually have elf women, right? Because I don't want to have sex with a male elf. I'm not into that. I don't want to fuck male elves, especially with their, like, creepy, like, curled up little boots and stuff like that. Like, <laughs> that's you know, that's my fetish, yeah. bitch. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, if it's a female elf, I'll fuck the elf. But regardless, I'd rather spend a day in the North Pole. We just spent, like, a solid minute talking about jerking off on the North Pole and having sex with elves. What is wrong with us? But Plenty. most people would agree, most people would agree, better to spend a day at the North Pole, and I got a North Pole in my pants. Would you rather be stabbed in the stomach ten times or be shot in both kneecaps? Kneecaps, okay. man. Kneecaps for sure. Because the worst case scenario there is they have to cut your legs off at the knee. Get stabbed in the stomach ten times. Now, I hate to be graphic about this. You'll probably but die. The thing is... If, if you got any, like, shit going on in the whole colon region, which you probably do because you're a living person, then if the shit sort of gets out into your stomach, you're fucked. Shot in the kneecaps, though, whack those things off and you're fucking good. I would take that every time. I don't think that 46% of people thought about how you're going to die from, like, sepsis or whatever because of the stomach stabbing. Not fucking good. Would you rather live in Boston or live in New York City? New York no City, obviously. No offense to people in Boston. But New York City is like one of, it's like the prime, like one of three prime world cities or something like that. New York every time. Also, I hate the Boston Bruins. I'm a Dallas Stars fan, okay? So New York every time and a million people agree with us, okay? A million fucking people. Let's keep going. Would you rather be a rock star or a movie star? I'd rather be a movie star. You know what? Yeah, you know obviously. Because like... Compare the death rates for movie stars to rock stars, okay? <laughs> You're totally star, right. You probably work slightly less for your money. Not to say that movie stars don't work their asses off, but they don't have to go on tour to make money, right? Whereas a rock star to make serious money has to constantly be touring, and then you get That's on like work. cocaine and super heroin and all that shit, and you end up dying. Also meth. That's, yeah, also also meth to make sure you're still nice and perky. And look, I look, I'm not saying that I would do meth or anything like that, but I wouldn't I wouldn't be totally averse to a little bit of a pick me up to keep with the crazy YouTube <laughs> video, okay? I just don't want to get addicted to meth. So I ain't doing that. Don't do meth, okay? Meth is not good for you. I'd rather be a fucking movie star every fucking time. I can see the appeal of being a rock star, but the movie star gets, like, most of the benefits and very few of the detractions. So would you rather wear high heels or wear a dress? I'd rather wear a dress because I don't need my ass sticking out further, and that's the main thing that high heels do. <laughs> high heels, high heels, all they do is make you fall over and your ass stick out, and... The thing is, I like to keep my ass yeah. nice and protected frankly, so frank demons yeah. can't crawl up inside well, of it and doom. Well, frankly, I, my ass sticks out enough for me, thanks, <laughs> already. And also, I fall down enough. So, so, yeah. Yeah. I choose the dress every time. High heels seem really uncomfortable to me, too. I, I don't think I'd like that in my life. I like nice... Look, the thing is, you want to be wearing boots or something so in case some shit goes down, you can fucking run and murder motherfuckers in the face! Would you rather be Dr. Zoidberg or be Kiff? Now, <laughs> Zoidberg Kiff. every time. You know yeah. why? Because Kiff has to do some fluffing on old uh, Zap Brannigan. Yeah, okay? but Kiff, instead of a skeleton, has his body supported by a series of, uh, of inflatable tubes. And further, Kiff actually, you know, Kiff is growing on me with this because Dr. Zoidberg is incredibly poor yeah. and hated by all of his uh -huh. people. But Kiff is hooked up with one of Future Earth's most eligible bachelorettes because Amy not only not only is are her parents incredibly rich, 
But like she's kind of got a little bit of a thing going on with her body there. You know what I'm saying? She's not not that bad. <laughs> yeah, not I that mean, bad at all. You'd have to deal with the fact that you know Fry is her ex, and that's gross. Yeah, that's 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 kind of gross. But, but I can deal. Whatever. Fuck that shit. I'm going with Kiff. We talked our way into this. Zoidberg is awesome, but the thing is, if I became Kiff. I would become suddenly super murder-filled. I'd rip Zap Brannigan's head off and shit down his neck. That's how it would be done, man. Would you rather know exactly what happened at Area 51 or accept $1 million? Um, I think I will take the $1 million because I don't care what happened in Area 51. I got a tip for everybody, right? The truth is not out there. There are no chemtrails. There are no UFOs. There's just a bunch of motherfuckers trying to kill each other. That's that's all that life is, right? So trying give to kill me each other that money. Trying to fuck things, and a million dollars will buy you a lot of killing and fucking. So I'm picking that <laughs> every time. And most people agree with the fucking money. Money talks. Would you rather tell your most embarrassing secret to the ten people that matter to most? Or eat 5,000 licorice jelly beans Ew. as fast as you can. Oh. Um, okay. I don't think my most embarrassing secret is probably that bad. I, no, I'm not a, like a I highly mean, embarrassable yeah. person. It's not I like... I scream about my cock on YouTube all the time. And most, okay? most people that we know know that. Yeah, exactly. So I'm just going with that shit. I'm really not embarrassed with much. 56% of people must have done some highly embarrassing shit. There must be some skeletons in those motherfuckers' closet. They must constantly be watching, like, midget horse porn or something like that, <laughs> okay? That's the only way to explain that. Would you rather never be able to touch anyone again or never be able to talk to anyone again? Oh, that's awful. That's a tough one, man. The thing is, okay, here's the thing. Look, are we talking, By talking you, does that talking... mean? Does that mean that I can't type, right? That's a good question. Because the thing is, if I can type to people and still touch boobies, then I think that I will go with the never be able to talk to anyone again. Because, look, the thing is, fucking is, is like, important to everyone. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to choose the talking because I'd rather, I'd rather text and fuck than speak and not fuck. Okay? I That's agree what I'm with going that entirely. With. Would you rather eat a chocolate-covered turd ah! or a turd-covered chocolate? Ah! Oh, oh turd man! Well, look. The, the laws of, you know, surface area say that you have to go with the turd-covered chocolate. Yeah, that it's, is true. It's less turd. Because if it's like a thin layering of turd around a big, thick nugget of chocolate, now, or a thin layer of chocolate around a big, thick nugget of turd... In either case, what you want to do is put that shit in the freezer. Thing is, this before is one of those you eat the it. house always wins yeah. thing, okay? Because yeah. either way, but I'm going to eat the turd... Actually, I'm going to eat the chocolate... Covered in turd, okay? This one, this one, that's the one. Because either way, though, you lose, okay? And you that's might one die. Of those things where you might die from the E. coli and you lose either way. Would you rather jump off a two story roof or take a sandwich tackle from three rugby players? Two story roof. Two story man. roof, man. You can roll when you hit you the can ground. Fucking, you can land and roll, especially if it's some maybe soft ground or maybe into snow or something like that. They don't specify. Of course, it could be like three child rugby players or something like that, you know? But I think and they, they bounce mean, off of you. But I think they mean like three big motherfuckers. Yeah. We're, doing, we're doing the roof. I do not want to be killed by rugby players, okay? I can, I can take a roof jump. <laughs> Would you rather have stretchable legs or stretchable arms? What does that uh, mean, stretchable? I think it means like stretch Armstrong. So do you have to... You, you okay. can't, can you? So is it like stretch Armstrong or is it like the guy from the Fantastic Four? Does it matter? <laughs> because the guy from the Fantastic Four can, like, do it himself and reach out and grab shit. I I'm assuming stretch you can Armstrong, do it yourself. Okay. I'm assuming you can do it yourself. Then arms, obviously. Yeah, I'd rather have the arms, because the thing is, that way you could be, like, in two separate houses grabbing two separate titties. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I mean, that's I know that's kind of childish, but the thing is, though... You could commit such acts of theft well, with you're stretchable arms. You're illustrating like, the possibilities. Have you ever have you ever wanted to like wanted to have something from a vending machine, but you can't get it? Well, you just stretch your arms up inside of there and yoink, steal that shit like a champion. Stretchable arms every fucking time. I don't even know why you'd want stretchable legs. I was about legs. to say the same thing. Would you rather own a pet snake or a pet turtle? Eh, turtle. I think I'm going to do with the turtle because turtles can, like, live for a long, long time. And also, they're not going to, like, slither up your penis or something like that. I'm going with the turtle. <laughs> 
Look, Ew. I, I have a fear of things slithering up inside of my penis. Don't you? Well, well yes. Um, Obviously, Flickr. Uh, would you rather store all your photos on Facebook or on Flickr? Um, neither, but I'm going to pick Flickr because fuck Facebook. Facebook can eat my dick, okay? Most people want to do fucking Facebook. I don't I don't need that Look, shit. They trust Zuckerfuck a yeah. lot more than I do. I, I don't care about Facebook. I'm too hip for that. <laughs> for the rest of your life, would you rather live in a library where books are your only form of entertainment or live in a prison cell where you have access to any channel on TV? Library. Um, library. Every time. Because, okay, here's the thing. Which one gets pizza delivered? Oh, good, uh, good the question. Is, if I'm forced to live in the library at all times, as if it's a prison cell, then, I mean, it's basically just a prison cell. Yeah. Except you're actually, you know what? You're not going to get shanked in the library, okay? And there might be, there might be like a sexy librarian or something like that. I'm choosing the library, okay? I like reading anyway, okay? And so sexy librarians. Food, sexy librarians and books in the library. I'm choosing that shit every fucking time. Would you rather be near death or hear everything two minutes later? Near death. Near death. I don't need to hear shit two minutes later. You know, you know what would, would be you, the worst? What would be the worst is hearing your kidnapper about to whack you over the head <laughs> after two minutes oh, after you're already you got, tied yeah, up exactly. in a van. No, that's not fucking cool. Like you hear, <laughs> you know, you feel yourself get bashed over the head, and then you hear like two minutes later, you hear somebody like, "I'm a kidnap you, bitch," and then <laughs> the footsteps rapidly approaching See, and bashing you over the head. <laughs> I was I was gonna go with someone insulting you, and you have no opportunity yep. for a zingy comeback. Hey, look, I'm thinking about the kidnapping and the people cutting my kidneys out. I'd rather be near death, okay? At least then I got a chance. Would you rather be on the front page of Reddit whenever you want or be on the front page of the New York Times um, once? Reddit? Reddit, Come on. because the New York it's Times is dying, bro. It's dying. Reddit is sadly the future, even though Reddit can suck it. But Reddit is the future, okay? Why would you pick the New York Times? It doesn't make any sense. This no is one. A, this is in 1971. Yeah, no one it's cares. 16. What the shit? Would you rather have a significant other that doesn't speak or a significant other that doesn't listen? Um, Definitely once again, the doesn't speak thing. Once again, can the person who's speaking write to you? Because if, if if she can write to me that I'm choosing the speaking, I'd rather not have her speak, but be able to listen to me and write to me. So I'm choosing that shit, and that's just the way it's got to be. Because also, like, you know, I, I'm just saying, I'm not saying that my significant other wouldn't be, like, as interesting as I am, but I'm one interesting motherfucker, okay? So because of that, that she's getting to hear my interesting shit. I agree I mean, that with that. That makes sense, right? Totally. Okay, last question. Would you rather win the lottery or live twice as long? Living twice as long Obviously. every fucking time. I don't need to win the lottery to make fat stacks of cash, okay? Eventually, I'm going to make fat stacks of cash somehow. And if you're living twice as long, you have qu twice the time to make your fat stacks. I'm choosing to live twice as long. I can't believe that more people would rather win the lottery. It doesn't even say how much lottery. I mean, you're, you're totally right. How much lottery? It could be that meaningless, also, like, you know, $99,000 In the description below here, in the, that you can't see on the YouTube video, it says you would age half as fast. So that means you're not even going to live as, like, a, you know, 120-year-old man and be 120 years old. Like, when you're, when you're 60, you'll be like you're 30. So I would rather live twice as long for fucking sure and be like 200 years old and be like, yeah, them suckers who got the lottery, they could suck my dick. <laughs> I mean, right? Well, obviously. Okay, so we're going to stop here. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that sexy thumbs up button. Spicy Waffles signing out. Next slice, and it's over for him. There we go. You see how his fucking weapon went rocketing into the corner? It was like, mouch. Oh, yeah. You ain't nothing, bitch. You ain't nothing. Now I'm going to fucking take a shit on you. There we fucking See, go. See, that's what you get. Done, that's bitch. what you get from wearing green pants exactly. in the battle. If I see somebody wearing green pants, I'm definitely...